Good morning, good afternoon, good evening for wherever you are. Um, welcome to this webinar, uh, the mobile mapping webinar on office and field validation for mobile mapping um, derived 3D data. Um, Marco Bello will be presenting this webinar and I'll, uh, without any delay, I'll just quickly hand it over to Marco. Marco, go ahead. Hello, good morning, uh, everyone. Good day, everyone. So yeah, um, I think we will anticipate one hour for this uh, this webinar. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to cover everything in all this time frame. Um, as usual, uh, we will try to to answer your questions on the fly during the presentation. But uh, in case we will not be able to do that, you can simply uh, send an email to this uh, uh, email address. As well, we will keep track of the questions you might have been writing down into the chat window and we will just uh, answer after this uh, session if we will not have time to cover this during the session itself. Uh, quickly jumping to the, uh, the agenda. So the, the general idea of this presentation is to show a workflow um, where uh, we might, uh, we assume we are in a company and we might have to check the feasibility of a project. And the, the general idea here is that we are in a, in a city or in a village and uh, we want to uh, maybe like, check if in a specific road we would be able to install maybe or to fix the position of a new bus station. Or maybe we don't have any bus station at all, but we need to we need to design a new project to to uh, to install establish the new bus stations. Uh, for the specific bus line on into into this village. So, and the idea is uh, how we could use the Trimble Business Center of Site Vision technology to validate the the project itself. The starting data set is mobile mapping, uh, because, for instance, if it's a village where we had to start from scratch, probably would make sense to to scan the the, the roads which might be interested by this new bus line. And having the data set in the office do our project accordingly. And um, so we will jump from Triple Business Center into uh, SketchUp Pro to show you how the model could be. Well, we will not touch this into details, but we'll show you a little bit of SketchUp Pro and the Scan Essential application or extension. We will import the 3D model generated into Trimble Business Center, and in Trimble Business Center, we will be doing some analysis on the 3D model respect to the uh, point cloud collector with the mobile mapping uh, system. This is Trimble MX9 dataset. And, uh, and this is uh, kind of the office evaluation part. Once we have the data uh, exported from Trimble Business Center, this dataset will be uploaded into Connect. And from Trimble Connect, this data set will be on the fly available for site vision, which means that the operator of the same company could go out in the field and making use of site vision and augmented reality could uh, evaluate how well or how bad the 3D model fits against the reality. And we will see also how with site vision, uh, we can create kind of reporting. We can uh, check according to some tasks which we have been <coughs> assigned by the project manager and synchronize this information back to be again cross-checked or validated by the project manager into Trimble Business Center. So that's the general idea of the workflow and this general idea is also kind of explained through this uh, into this slide. So again, we are using mobile mapping data collected from Trimble MX9 Data is, as you know, processed in Trimble Business Center, where we have our point cloud and imageries. We will have a point cloud exported and going directly into SketchUp. And the 3D model is generated into uh, in SketchUp will be loaded back to Trimble Business Center. Um, here, uh, a quick comment. From SketchUp, SketchUp Pro, with the Trimble Scan Essentials extension, we can create our 3D model starting from the point cloud. Now, uh, the 3D model, before being available in site, in a site vision, this has to be uploaded into Trimble Connect. And there is two ways we can do this. 
we could jump directly into into Trimble Connect, uh, just simply exporting from SketchUp Pro, or we could go first. We could first go back into Trimble Business Center and from Trimble Business Center be exported to Trimble Connect. Uh, what I will go for is the option of passing through TBC again. The reason why I'm doing this is because in SketchUp we don't have code and system definitions. So the 3D model which is generated in SketchUp could be hardly precisely positioned for site vision display. This is why we are going back with a 3D model into Trimble Business Center. We can precisely position our model and also orientate correctly our model so that as soon as we export the 3D model from Trimble Business Center, this will be immediately available and we could immediately use it in with site vision for all the following up evaluation. So once the model is loaded in Trimble Connect, in Trimble Connect, we already have the chance, or an operator of the company already has the chance to do some additional analysis. In Trimble Connect, we will see how we can do measurements, we can uh, uh, assign tasks, we can visualize tasks. And from Connect, data then is going to site vision in the field, where we can do the in-field uh, evaluations. In the field, we can uh, answer to the tasks which we have been assigned by the project manager of the company. And we can generate this ASCII file report, which is synchronized back into Trimble Connect. So from the field, it goes into the cloud in Connect. And once the report is in Connect, we will see how we can import this report with the measurements, with the points or with the observation data which can be imported back into Trimble Business Center for the uh, final uh, analysis and final validation of, uh, of our project. So uh, this site, I'm going into, into Trimble Business Center. So this is the original data we have to work with. So what you can see here is a uh, spherical image where you can see uh, a bus station, a bus station which has been mapped into inside this village. And here below, we also have the 3D view of our bus station um, from, uh, from the point cloud itself. The general idea is that we would like to, uh, let's assume we don't have any, any design, we don't have any, any model, any project about this uh, bus station structure, which we can see here in TBC. Um, the general idea is uh, we would like to make a kind of clone of this uh, bus station as a 3D model and position it somewhere else inside my village where the new bus stop has to be located. So what we have to do or what you, we can do is we can extract the portion of the point cloud representing our bus stop and import this into a SketchUp Pro. And this is what we did. Uh, we have extracted this portion of the point cloud. And now if I'm going to open SketchUp Pro, this is the portion of the point cloud. Now, SketchUp Pro, by uh, the new, um, by, uh, the new extension, um, which is the Trimble Scan Essentials extensions, enables us to import last files, E57 point cloud dataset. And before we do this, before we can display this, this point cloud data set is converted into a RWP format, which is like a real world project format. And then this can be loaded into, into SketchUp. Um, once the point cloud is imported, we can make use of all the modeling tools which uh, are available into Trimble SketchUp. Now, this tutorial is not going to show how to use SketchUp, there is a lot of other resources available, so I will not cover how to physically build up the 3D model here. But probably what to me is more important here is to show the, the, the result of this, uh, of this editing, of, of this uh, uh, 3D modeling. And if I'm going to unhide the project, this is how the project would look like once modeled to SketchUp. Now, a few words about the SketchUp essentials. Um, and the Trimble, uh, about the, the extension Trimble Scan Essentials. As soon as you have uh, licensed your extension, you see here there is a new toolbar where you have the chance to open a file, 
you have the chance to customize how your point cloud would look like, so colorization, uh, point size, and other parameters. You can change um, blending options, you can erase, you can uh, uh, pick part of the point cloud, you can do measurement, you can uh, measure some points. This is in briefly the tools which are available uh, with the uh, Scan Essential. And um, I have my three model, which is being created now here. And what you can do is I can turn off the point cloud, maybe to better view my 3D model, which has been generated into Dreamworks Sketch. Now, in order to be able uh, to display colors in Trimble Business Center, um, uh, the, the best practice would be to group uh, your objects, your geometries into, into groups and to each group assign a specific color. Um, today in Triple Business Center, to be able to see the mesh, a colorized mesh of the model, we need to work with um, IFC format. And this is what we have to export uh, from SketchUp into, into Trim and to be imported into Triple Business Center. Importing a SketchUp file would just show us the wireframe and, uh, and losing all the, the geometry, so losing the um, yeah, basically the, the, the mesh geometry itself and the color information. So uh, we have our uh, 3D model created here in, uh, in, um, in SketchUp. And uh, one thing I would like to, to show you quickly is uh, this small toolbar here. So this is the Site Vision ER Exporter. This is a tool which you can use, for example, to assign a generic coordinates, grid coordinate to your model. And after that, maybe uploading this model into Trimble Connect. As I said, this will be a kind of generic coordinates because we don't have any coordinate system definition here and we don't have any orientation definition here. So again, probably the best practice would be to import this model into Trimble Business Center, position, orientate correctly, and then publish into Trimble Connect for later on visualization, uh, visualization into site visions. Okay, now the model has been uh, created. So what we can do is uh, simply select all the elements. And then if we go to file, we go to, uh, first of all, we have, a, we have the chance, as I said earlier, to upload directly into the Ribble Connect environment. Otherwise we can go to export and the recommendation would be to go on 3D model and then export it as a, as a IFC file. Now, this has been already done. So our bus stop colorized uh, with the color definitions is already loaded into this folder. So I'm not going to overwrite this. And uh, let's see now how we can import this 3D model into Trimble Business Center. So I go back into Trimble Business Center. And uh, now the general idea is uh, let me let me close the station visit here. And the general idea is we want to position this bus stop in this location. Uh, actually, the point 3000 is a point which has been surveyed by the serving company, and this is where um, one reference element of our model needs to be positioned in order to correctly position our one model. So uh, from my, um, we just take our bus stop file, IFC file, drag and drop into Trimble Business Center. And now what's happening? Now, Trimble Business Center um, does not know any code and definition of our 3D model. And uh, this is why our, our 3D model is, uh, is positioned at the coordinate zero, zero, okay? And as you can see here, the first thing which normally I do is we can select our 3D model and we can change, um, we can change uh, or we can assign this 3D model to uh, a specific layer. So we can go to the properties. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, normally when you import an IFC file in Triple Business Center, Triple Business Center by default create an IFC import layer where this model is loaded. And um, now I want to put this uh, 3D model into a different layer. So I just go into the properties 
and I create a new layer, for example, I will call this bus stop layer. And I close. So now this has been repositioned into the correct layer, which I wanted to. Now I want to move this 3D model in the position of that reference point, which was the way, the point number 3000, I showed you earlier on the 3D, on the 2D map. To do this, you can go into the CAD tab, and then you can go to the um, uh, move, you can take the, the move function of uh, Trimble Business Center. Otherwise you can customize some screen, uh, some keystrokes or shortcuts in your keyboard to make this step easier. So my reference position, which needs to go on top of the point 3000, is this corner here. So I'm just going to select this. And then, two, I will specify the point 3000. This has to be a 3D move. And so I click on Enter. Now my object has been moved. So I close the Move Object tab. And, uh, and now if I do a zoom to all extent, I just zoom in. And this, as you can see now, the uh, the 3D model and the reference element of the 3D model is exactly matching with the point 3000. Of course, we're missing the rotation information from this uh, uh, for this 3D model. How to do that? Again, you can uh, from the CAD tab of TBC, you can go to the uh, rotate tool or Control R as I have customized it. Now I want to rotate my 3D model around the same point 3000. And now it's a matter of define the angle. Maybe you have also, some, also in this case, maybe you have some survey measure the points. Otherwise, you could also do it kind of manually, uh, uh, picking some points from the point cloud to position your 3D model, as I did right now. So now my 3D model has been um, has been positioned correctly. So I can close the rotate. I can close the uh, rotate um, option. Uh, let me just hide uh, a part of the point cloud which is not needed any longer, which is uh, this point here. And now I'm going to zoom a little bit on the on the 3D view on the point cloud to show how the data now looks like into into Trimble Business Center. So this is our bus stop, which has been um, positioned in uh, our point cloud in the position where we want our bus stop to uh, to be located or Basically, where we want to, to do some analysis to see if this position fits with uh, traffic uh, requirements or specifications. We can, at this moment, we can start doing our first analysis based on, for example, on some measurement tools which we have in Trimble Business Center. For, for example, we could um, take the uh, inverse measurement or the measurement tool to pick, for example, I could say, okay, I would like to know the distance of the bus stop from this position, which is maybe the entrance of this uh, private property, and maybe to, for example, to, to this position here on the 3D model. And, uh, and you see here, we have the result of our measurements, um, horizontal, vertical, slope, distance. And this measurement can also be saved into, into a layer of our Trimble Business Center project. Let's do this. So I'm going to save this, and I will call this measurement 01. And I will save this into a layer I created previously, measurements layer, and I will just save this. And if I go into my layer properties, I can turn on the measurements layer so that these measurements will always be visible on the, on the display. And um, another, another way to do uh, measurements uh, or to do some uh, uh, other kind of evaluations could be could be using a, or let could also be um, extracting or generating some CAD points on specific vertex of our 3D model. And there is a function in Trimble Business Center, which is the create from CAD, which I'll show you now how it works. Um, if I'm going now to select my bus stop again, um, as soon as this element has been selected, I can go to CAD, create from uh, uh, card, and I can say I would like to create card points and um, and um, create some card points and points at the mesh vertices of a my 3D model. You can group this into a specific uh, in, again into a specific layer, 
and this is what I will do now. I will create a new layer specifically for this CAD point generated, which I will code, uh, oh, for example, CAD uh, from IFC, for example, maybe white, I keep the white color. And then you can start assigning the point ID. Uh, for example, I will call this uh, CAD, uh, first point will be named CAD01 and so on. I apply this. So now the 3D points has been generated. You can see all at this moment, a little bit annoying labels, which I turn off. And uh, I can turn off now my bus stop layer. And then you can see I have all my CAD points visible in uh, my 3D view as well as in the 2D view. Uh, these points, of course, can, can uh, be used to do, to do measurements um, uh, against the point cloud, which we have loaded inside our Trimble Business Center um, projects. Uh, another interesting tool to do some uh, analysis uh, for this 3D model uh, could be making use of the um, um observe explore explore object tool in Trimble business center now i have created previously an alignment which i just turned on now from the layers uh box of the filter manager and you can see the alignment which is uh which is down here so um if i'm going to to pick the to pick up the explore object i can select my uh alignment and I can turn on again my bus stop. And uh, what what I can do is uh, I can specify uh, through my alignment. I can do some measurement respect to my alignment. For example, this position. And you can go element by element, following following up your alignment defined earlier. And so exporting or doing measurement with the specific offsets specific changes, informations, uh, extracting coordinates at the same time. So this is another, I think, kind of interesting um, way to do some uh, analysis on your data sets. Uh, in this case, alignment based. You could even make use of a reference line, uh, which you can import uh, in order to link your uh, observation or analysis to this imported uh, reference uh, element. Um, um, another tool which can be used into Trimble Business Center, uh, which you could use in Trimble Business Center for this kind of analysis, could be uh, into the point cloud tab. You could use in your cutting plane view. So how does it work? Um, again, I will create a vertical cutting plane orthogonal to the alignment which I just imported. And once I enable the cutting plane tool, I need to create my reference plane and uh, I will add a new one and I'm going to give it a name for example plane 01 and for this plane I would like to use a, a linear path as a reference which I need to select which is this one and uh, I would like uh, this to be uh, a vertical plane respect to uh, my uh, my path and as soon as I create this let me just close this tool um, when I'm zooming in, maybe I change the uh, maybe I change the colorization of the background so that it will be more clear. I can change the station position. Station position, for example, I would like to have cross sections slightly hitting the center of my of my of my bus stop. And basically, you can see here this is our alignment, and this is the sum of the bus stop element. And I can move. Through the through my through my uh, alignment and displaying or visualizing the different the different elements uh, of my bus stop and the reality which is represented again by the point cloud. Here on the right, I can uh, uh, edit the thickness of my cross section visualization. But again, what is interesting is also from this uh, environment, from this visualization, you have the chance to to do your measurements. For example, I could zoom in, I could hit one point of the bus platform and I could hit another point on the ground. And in this case, I have the 3D component. So slope, horizontal, vertical measurement. And this can as well be saved 
into my uh, measurement layer, for example, measure zero two and save that. And uh, you can uh, you can navigate station by station in this visualization and do all the all the all the needed needed uh, needed measurements and save those uh, into your uh, layer for the analysis of your and for the visibility of your project. Um, final in TBC, another option which is available is uh, navigating physically into your point cloud and um, using the drive view function of the corridor tab of Trimble Business Center. You need an alignment and you need a point cloud or uh, um, a surface also. Before I do this, maybe I just select again my uh, again, select again my uh, bus stop layer because I want to change something into the um, into the um, into the um, oh, yeah into the properties. Give me a second. Select this. Project Explorer. And selecting them all and I would like to hide the edges I'm closing the selection tool now I go on to my 3d drive view I I was maybe first I select my alignment I start my 3d view and now I have the chance to navigate into into my point cloud maybe I bring back again the black background which is a little more effective here and I can navigate into my data set station by station and, uh, and drive my vehicle to my bus stop, right? And um, again, also from this kind of visualization, I, I can see the measurement which will have been done, but also from here, I can do measurement as well. So this is another point of view where you can do your measurement to making use of the different measurements to the business center for your uh, evaluations, for your analysis for example i don't know you can measure from uh, this point here now i'm just i'm just picking points randomly maybe here to the ground and i can save this again as a measurement i don't know zero three in this case and this is saved to our measurement layer as well um this is a way to navigate through through the through the um, following this uh, trajectory or this alignment. The other, the other option would be um, not sliding on your station as slider, but maybe fixing a kind of driving speed and then, being, and then giving it a start. So now the system drives on its own. As soon as you see something relevant, you just push on your brakes, you have your 3D model, you do your measurement, and then you start accelerating again. Um, now, once this uh, once this analysis have been done by the project manager in Trimble Business Center, maybe you would like to send uh, the 3D model, maybe with some annotations uh, into the field uh, for site vision users, so the operator of your company. Again, as I said previously, this is something which can be interestingly be done by Trimble Business Center because by doing it in Trimble Business Center, we keep track of the coordinate system and the orientation of our of um, our uh, 3D model. Um, so what I'm going to do is, for the moment, I'm going to disable or turn off my point cloud, and I'm going to close my uh, 3D drive visualization. And uh, maybe why not also the measurement layer, uh, which is here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my 3D model, which is uh, my bus stop. Once this has been selected, what I can, oops, again, bus stop. Once this has been selected, I can go to export. Now, what do we have to export here? Um, we want to export an IFC model using this IFC exporter. And also we want to export the code and system definition. So basically this requires two steps. I will show you first the IFC exporter to export the 3D model. 
this is being elements are selected. Now, um, instead of specifying a folder in my PC, I would like to upload this model directly into Trimble Connect, where my organization at the Trimble Connect project for this bus station design project. So if I click on this icon here, I can connect to external location. And uh, now I'm using my Trimble Connect account, which has been enabled and licensed here in TBC. And I need to decide which is, uh, which is the server I would like to connect to, which is the one I'm selecting now. And I need to specify the project where I would like my IFC model to be loaded, which is this one here, Site Vision Workflow. Um, the file, uh, the, this is the right location. I'm going to give here a name to my, uh, to my uh, IFC model, which I'm uploading, and just click on Save and Export. So now I am uploading my IFC file into Trimble Connect. Uh, but this is not the only thing I want to upload. Um, what we need to upload now is a file which is containing the coordinates definition of this Trimble Business Center project and the orientation parameters as well for my 3D model. And to export this file, which is a JXL file, I go to Export, I go to Survey, and I scroll down to Job XML Exporter. Once I've selected the format, I will follow the same step. I will go to this uh, external service location. I am already in the last visited folder, which is our site vision workflow project. Uh, in this case, um, I, I need again to change the name to make consistent with the name of the IFC file, which I exported previously. I can call it bus stop and I click on save and I click on export. So now the two files has been exported and uploaded into Trimble Connect. What we have to do now is uh, we go into our Trimble Connect account. Uh, I am using the administrator account for this organization. So I sign in. <clears throat> Once I'm here, I'm connected to my projects and I open the project, uh, which is the one where I have uploaded my 3D model. And you can see here, this is the two files I just uploaded, the IFC and the JXL. As a project manager administrator, maybe I might like to, to open my 3D model in Trimble Connect to do some uh, analysis to just, to just to view my, my 3D model, which might be helping me to do some additional evaluation concerning the, the project itself. So the 3D viewer has been loaded, and this is my 3D model. Uh, exported from Trimble Business Center. And uh, from here, you could uh, you have different tools into the 3D viewer of Trimble Connect. You could, for example, open a kind of uh, data table where you can see all the different elements with some attributes, uh, which is the elements of my 3D model, for example. You can also, you also have the chance to do some, uh, some measurements directly from here, making use of uh, elements of your 3D model. You can draw them, then you can select and you can erase or delete them if not needed. And you can also take annotations. For example, I can zoom in. Uh, I would like to take an annotation like this, adding a markup. For instance, I pick a point here, the bottom of this panel, and I could write in, uh, please review uh, the height of this element respect to, to the ground. Maybe I write it correctly. And, uh, and once I, I took this annotation, uh, this 3D model, with, together with the annotation, can be combined together in a kind of uh, task or to-do task, which I would like to assign to a specific operator of my company, so that when this operator goes out in the field with site vision, uh, he, can, he can view the task he has been assigned, and he can do some actions according to the request he got from the project manager. To do this, um, the administrator or the project manager could go into the add a to do and you could specify the title, for example, review height panel, I don't know, zero one. Uh, you could uh, add a description, like do that. 
uh, he could assign a due date. For example, I need it by Thursday, this information. And he could also assign a priority. For example, this is a, a critical information which is needed for the viability on this road. And as it needs, now you can uh, decide who, who is the operator you are going to assign the task. Uh, for example, I have one, which is this guy here. And um, as soon and you can uh, identify uh, some other attributes like the type, for example, this is a request, maybe that's a request I'm assigning. You can uh, specify some additional tags. And uh, as soon as I'm saving here, this operator, the LMM sent vision operator, we receive an email with the notification of the tasks he has been assigned. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this task. And now uh, the task has been sent via email to, to, the, uh, to the operator. He has the one who has to go into the field. Um, now, let's see now how it works for an operator. Uh, let me just uh, bring in the phone from the operator. So. <laughs> This is, a, this is the operator phone, this is his Gmail account, and uh, the operator will go and sign in with his own account. Okay, I've been kicked out, let me start again, Gmail, okay. So this is uh, this is the account, uh, the Gmail account. You see that he received the operator received an email one minute ago by the project administrator. He can open the email, look through the, his inbox, and in, then he can analyze. So he has a task assigned with, and this is the system naming. This is the name or the title of the task, description, the date, the due date, the request, and he has the chance to do two things: simply open the three D model with the 3D viewer application for mobile, or you can also view the complete task, uh, view the to-do again into the Trimble Connect application for mobile. And this is what we are going to do. I could open my view to-do. Now, I, uh, the operator is connecting to his uh, Trimble Connect account with his own uh, account. He can see now that the task he has been assigned you can see the level of priority with this red exclamation mark because that's a high priority. So this has to be done. And once here, the operator can double click and can view again the model, can see the properties of the task he has been assigned. He can scroll down through the elements. And also uh, once he has been reading the description uh, of, uh, of the task and uh, the due date, he also have the chance to open the, the 3D view uh, by clicking here on the embedded view. By doing this, we are opening the 3D viewer uh, for Trimble Connect. And the 3D viewer now on the phone is uh, as well opening the, uh, the 3D geometry or 3D model, which uh, was uh, sent to him by the, uh, by the project uh, manager. And what is also interesting here is that the annotation is also visible and available for the operator. And the annotation in this case can help to better understand, understand the content of the description of the task itself. And uh, from this visualization, the operator can uh, maybe already reply or can uh, do some, uh, you see here also here on the back, we have some basic measurement functions, some, uh, some basic tools which can be used from the mobile phone directly and the application to, to accomplish maybe some minor tasks possibly, <laughs> and, uh, and maybe send back comments to the, uh, to the project manager. But um, this tool probably is important to receive notification, receive the tasks and um, understand the, the task requirement and then open your site vision kit and do your evaluation making use of the site vision uh, AR technology. And this is what I'm going to show you right now. So the same operator now will be out in the field. He has his own site vision. Uh, I cannot be outside in the field right now. Uh, so I need to make use of some slides 
um, to to show you uh, to show you the workflow uh, in the site vision workflow. So let me uh, go back to um, to the slides. And this is where we are now. So the operator he received the task by email. He could check it using the Climate Connect application on his phone. Now he's out in the field. He turned on his site vision kit. He's initializing his site vision device. With site vision, he's connecting to his own Trimble Connect account and the specific project where he's uh, assigned it to. And he can import and display the 3D model directly into site vision, as you can see now here from on the screen. Now, um, also in this case, I'm not going to talk too much in detail on site vision. We already had a, a number of uh, webinars on how to use site vision and the recordings are always available for view. In case uh, you cannot find them, uh, drop us an email uh, to the email address I showed you earlier or write this request on a chat window and we will send you offline the, um, the link to the recordings. Anyway, uh, once the 3D model has been loaded in Site Vision and the Site Vision kit is initialized, you can start navigating, analyzing your object against the reality, um, which is displayed by, by, uh, by the camera. And uh, from here, you can basically start doing your measurement. Measurement, making use of uh, the Genesis technologies, because most probably to be accurate, you will be connected with the Catalyst service to a station base. You will be able to measure your LTK observations. Uh, you can also do your measurement using the embedded ADM technologies, which is included, uh, which is embedded into the site vision kit. Or you can do your measurement against your virtual, let's call it that, 3D model, which has been uploaded. So you have these three different methods to do measurements which can also, by the way, be combined. For example, a measurement at distance could be a combination of the measurement uh, from the first point, which is maybe EDM-based, and the second one, which is ER-based, like is displayed and uh, described here in, the, in, the, in, this, uh, in this screenshot. So once in the field, your, your 3D model, the operator can start doing his own uh, on-site measurement and analysis for this bus stop feasibility. And uh, what he can also do is he can uh, reply to the task he has been assigned by the project manager. As I'm showing in this slide, actually the operator did the measurement uh, from the bottom left corner of this panel of the 3D model against the terrain. And uh, the terrain point was extracted using the EDM. So basically now the operator could uh, identify the vertical distance or vertical height of the panel respect to the respect to the ground and um, the operator also have available the chance to display the data inside visual on a 2d view and at the same time if the operator in the field maybe he can see something which was not maybe so evident in the office so the operator himself can create kind of to-do tasks to be assigned to the operator in the office, like uh, please review a specific element. Uh, maybe because once on-site, maybe the condition changed. For some reason, on-site the, con the condition changes. So maybe one element needs to be, or one measurement, need to be cross-checked and reviewed in the office uh, with the maybe additional data sets which are available. For example, the point cloud itself, or maybe some leveling line optical observation were available in for the same Trimble Business Center project, which can be used as a reference just for cross-check before validating the, the final um, result of the, of the analysis. So the operator can create these uh, nodes or tasks as well. And as soon as this is finished, uh, as soon as the activity in the field with the site vision kit is concluded, the operator can synchronize back all the measurements and all the tasks, all the nodes he created by clicking on this option here. This option is a, a sync command, which basically means that all the information collected are written into an ASCII file and directly uploaded into the Trimble Connect 
uh, organization folder and inside the specific Trimble Connect project where the 3D model was loaded and where this site vision project was uh, available. And uh, this would uh, conclude the activity done uh, in, uh, in the field with the site vision kit. And uh, now, um, if I go to Trimble Connect, after the synchronization, you see this will be the file. This was already uploaded, but I just want to show you how it looks like. So this will be the file, which is uh, the result of this synchronization. And uh, this file here, I can select it and I can download. And I will do that because I want to show you the content. And then I want to show you how we can import this into Trimble Business Center. So I just opened the no, I just opened the location. Let me just put this file into into a different folder uh, into inside here. Okay, so the bus station has been now uh, the, the ASCII file has been loaded into my interchange folder, and I just want to show you how the file look like. So this is the content of the ASCII file. Um, you see, we have a measurement date, time, uh, the name of the points or the name of the observation, code, um, the measurement application. So it was a point, it was a distance. And this is the measurement technique. So if I was using the EDM technology, if I was, in, if I was using the ER or if I was using GNSS as the technique to, to, to measure those points. And then we can see we have all the coordinates information in um, projected and geographic coordinates and then other information like slope distances for the measurements and other parameters. So this is, uh, this is the file which I want to import into Trimble Business Center because then I would like to cross-check the result of this measurement once more in Trimble Business Center for my final evaluation. Um, how we can do that? I just don't say, just close this. Uh, we go back into our Trimble Business Center project and uh, from my, my folder, I just take it, drag, and drop into Trimble Business Center. As soon as we do this drag and drop, uh, Trimble Business Center show me the import format editor. And uh, in Trimble Business Center, um, we already have a template for ASCII, Site Vision ASCII file import, which is this one here, Site Vision CSV. Uh, but I can, and you can see here the structure of this importer, of this importer. I actually created a different one um, fitting better for the workflow I wanted to show. And this is just the structure. Actually, I'm interested in displaying Trimble Business Center, the day time, uh, the point name, the measurement technique which was used, and the position. So I just make use of this um, importer definition, and then I'm going to click on import my data. So the observation has been imported. We can see those. Um, in, um, in the 2D view, I can see some points as well as in my 3D view. Um, now, let me uh, do the following. Uh, maybe I can show the points ID for these observations. Um, maybe what could be important, what could be important for the project manager here in Trimble Business Center could also be maybe clear and understand on the fly if the measurements which has been imported, if this is something which was measured with EDM, which means on the, on the, on the real terrain, on the point cloud, or uh, maybe with, uh, with, uh, with GNSS devices. And um, I created a feature called library, which gives the chance to colorize the different points according to the measurement technique. If you remember, the measurement technique was one of the attributes available in one of the column of the ASCII file generated from site vision after the sync. So what I can do now is I can go to the project settings, I can go to feature code processing, and I can specify the feature code library, which I just generated to match with this project, which is this uh, FX cell library here. I just, play, I just click on uh, open, accept and open. So now my feature code library has been assigned to the project. So now I can go to my um, process feature codes function of Trimble Business Center. I can enable 
the, the file I would like to process and I can click on process. Now my, uh, my uh, data set has been processed and as you can see, I can view my data colorized differently. Well, first thing I have the names, the labels, which are maybe explaining me a little bit which kind of measurement it was, but also the colorization itself can, can also help me to understand which measurement has been done in the field. So for example, we have been measuring on these vertices of, on the, of the 3D model, uh, directly on the 3D model. Uh, we have been measuring, been measuring with EDM some of uh, some cones here all along the road. We have been measuring the position of the, the main elements of this fence here, which is just limiting the, the road itself. And we have been measuring some, uh, uh, yeah, via RTK, we have been measuring some manholes uh, here on the ground. And, and, this, is, and this is tools um, or information more than tools. This is information which could be useful uh, for the project manager, maybe to do his own final uh, analysis, final evaluations before validating the location of the new bus stop in this case. Um, what is also interesting is that in Trimble Business Center, you have the chance to import actually multiple IFC files, which means multiple models. For example, it could also be interesting to um, import and display uh, the 3D model of, of a bus itself to see how this also would match against the point below and your bus station. The bus, the bus in this case is something you can uh, download from the from the 3D uh, library of 3D objects uh, from uh, from SketchUp, as well as this is something you can also build up model yourself uh, into SketchUp and then following the same idea export as IFC and having this imported into into uh, into Trimble Business Center. So this is a this is a concluding the the workflow I wanted to I wanted to show. So I hope I was uh, able to show you how we could use Trimble Business Center to and the measurement functions of Trimble Business Center to make some office analysis uh, of how a 3D model generated uh, starting from point cloud in this case mobile mapping point cloud. Um, how the 3D tools can enable this kind of analysis in the office and following, um, I think, a stream, kind of streamlined workflow, uh, make use of the same data sets uh, in a kind of common ecosystem, uh, but inside, in, inside site vision to do the same kind of analysis on, uh, on real, on the terrain, real in the field, uh, all in a, in a same kind of common uh, concept, uh, project, and uh, idea. So I think this is concluding my presentation. So I would uh, pass now this back to Ronald. If there is uh, any question, we have uh, still five, almost five minutes to, to close the session. So if the yeah, Marco, there's one question from a little bit earlier in your presentation, and it was on how you were making an alignment from the MX9 directory <laughs> for the drive. Yeah, so the alignment basically is a is a line string. So um, the very first thing you can go you can go through is uh, from the CAD you can make a line string and you can digitize, for example, the center line from your point cloud or uh, and define your alignment uh, your line this way. Once you have created your line string, then you can go to your corridor tab, and then from corridor you can go to create alignment. Going on create alignment gives the chance to select an already existing line, uh, and then you can specify a name, you can specify a layer to uh, where to store or to save your alignment. Once you have created this, you have the chance to verify and to edit the vertical and the horizontal alignment information, and then just simply store it or save it. And then your alignment is uh, available and ready to be used for your 3D drive view or for your explore object. Uh, Activities. Great, thanks. Um, one more question on the version of TVC that you were using. What, what version was it? Uh, this is uh, the version uh, 530. 
And uh, remember that also in the 5.30, um, still uh, there is no chance to, uh, at the moment, to import the um, SketchUp file with the, with the mesh. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, you, you better import the IFC ones. Um, yeah. the, 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 the comment is that on the next build, we will be able to, to import uh, the uh, SketchUp file directly, showing the, the mesh into the new business center. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I think that was it. We almost uh, have completed the full hour. Thanks, Marco. Thanks for a really excellent presentation. Um, and uh, for everyone who joined, um, you will receive, um, once the recording is, is um, completed, uh, we will receive a link to the recording. And you, as always, you can also find that on the geospatial.com website as well. Well, yeah, thanks again, Marco, and thanks everyone for attending the webinar. Okay, thanks. Have a good day.